Hi, thanks for joining. It's Vicki. Today I'm going to do a quick little review and description of the Passionate Penny Pinchers 2020 home planner. It's a personal agenda and finance and goal tracker. So I do have some other agendas that I will compare it to. Uh, I started off the year, it's the third weekend of January 2020, and I actually had started off with a 18 month calendar from mid 2019 and a few months in a few weeks into 2020 i just knew i needed something a little bit bigger so i'll compare that with these i do have yeah the 2020 passionate penny pincher home planner so what's unique about this is it has to-do list self-incorporated so like working out uh cleaning to-dos around the house seasonal and whatnot so that's really nice uh, the other planners I've used for the past few years have been more of the 5 by 8 inch style and I have a few of those to show you. I had also used um, a pre-bound journal that I'll show you, well not journal but agenda and then I have used Erin Condren in the past and this is a little bit bigger than the traditional Erin Condren. So I... I'm hoping that I like this. It has more to do's, which that was my big complaint was I didn't have a very structured uh, timing throughout the day and I needed a little bit more to do list room. And so I'll show you what I had before, which was my uh, 18 month agenda was actually a Ray Dunn. And so I had a Ray Dunn leather bound tucked into a little um, coach agenda case. And I really enjoyed that. I've used that on and off over the years, but uh, it worked great before kids <laughs> and now with a little kid I just need a little bit more structure to plan my days my work weeks my weekends off and how to incorporate all that and oh yeah keep my house in order <laughs> so uh, we'll go in now to my uh, bathroom and I'll just do a, a layout comparison of this with some others and show you some really cool features about this so all right let me know if you have any questions thanks all right, so we've got the Passionate Penny Pincher 2020 Home Planner here. And first what I'll do is I'll do a uh, opening and page through and show you the features for each month, each week, and whatnot, and an example of the to-dos. And then I have a stack of other agendas to compare against. So for a quick visual, here's a standard Erin Condren, uh, spiral bound. This one is not. This one is um, coil bound, but not a not a, a true spiral. The same way the Erin Condren is. Uh, I used Erin Condren for about two years. I ended up not. Um, I ended up walking away from Erin Condren. I just thought it was a little too frou frou a little bit too arts and craftsy. I need more to do list to make to done list. <laughs> so I enjoyed my Erin Condren, but. Um, it just didn't always suit my needs. So I used that for, I believe, 2015, 2016. I ventured out into some 5 by 8s for a few years. This is a paper blanks. Um, this is a small one. I had a larger one as well. Probably closer to the Erin Condren size. But um, anyway, all right. Let's look at the Passionate Penny Pincher 2020 Home Planner. How did I find this? It kept showing up on my Facebook feed ad. So well played Mark Zuckerberg and well played to the uh, advertising team. <laughs> but um, I think I'll really enjoy this. I'm a to-do list focused person. And um, one thing I'd like to say before we go through this, the home planner, I do believe the passionate penny pincher is a woman of faith, a Christian. And so the reason I say that is as we go through some of the inspirational pages, uh, they're not just quotes, but they're biblical um, quotes. And so I personally enjoy that. I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic. I greatly enjoy that. And uh, I have wanted to read uh, more of the Bible and so what's really nice is on each of the to-dos each day it has a little bit of uh, biblical reading so that's actually nice but all right from the top then home planner you open it on up it's a nice very durable uh, binder cover and then it comes in this is uh, a wax coated one which is really nice um, room to put your name and then it has a little key. So this is really nice. It has uh, every single day will have your dinner plan. If you're meal planning, uh, gratitude, one list, uh, list one thing that you're thankful for. So that is super nice. 
I do have uh, the five minute journal and I really like that, but this is another way to incorporate gratitude and appreciation in your day. And then how much money you spent for the budgeting features and that's really nice. So, all right, little intro. Yeah, so Lori, the uh, passionate penny pincher, she's a wife, mom, blogger, proud owner of one too many crock pots. I can relate, too bad she didn't also say instant pots or pressure cookers, but Lord, I probably have six or seven combined between all of my electric cookers. But um, yeah, so it's kind of a, um, it has a bunch of to-dos, which is really nice. And then um, this is good to know the left column and the right column, left due in the morning, right in the evening. And I think that's great for stay-at-home moms or work-from-home moms and the one weekly home project that you can do any day throughout, and I'll show you that. So this is nice, it has spring cleaning checklist. Um, yeah, clean all your crap, uh, clean all your crap. <laughs> clean your bathrooms, your kids are nasty. Uh, the yard work is really nice. Uh, we recently moved summer of 2019 and the previous homeowner hadn't done some routine maintenance so that made it harder for us through the summer and fall. We were catching up on home maintenance that should have been done in the spring. So this is really nice. Uh, and if you don't want to do them yourself, that's great. Just contract it out. No shame in that. Work from home. Stay at home. However, you're blessed and manage your budget. Um, take care of your house. Take care of yourself. Christmas. Uh, so yes, as I said, um, this is a Christian uh, centric. I mean, you could utilize this completely non-denominational. The majority of Americans celebrate Christmas. So you can do all that. Um, yeah, that's really cute. Remember to go for a brisk walk and enjoy the Christmas lights. Watch your favorite Christmas movies. Mine are Elf. Yes, no shame. <laughs> Elf, A Christmas Story. And then we're uh, venturing down all of the children's Christmas movies the past few years. So that's really enjoyable. Christmas supply. Yeah, make sure you have all those. So that's this is a really cute little section to keep yourself um, grounded or, or organized. Drag, dream big home project list. Yeah, what do you want to do in 2020? We're, um, we did some projects in 2019. Uh, in 2020, I think we're going to redo our kitchen countertops. Uh, we're adding, uh, when we have an unfinished bedroom this year, we're doing, so that's really cool. But then smaller home projects, like I need to work in the garden and how I want to plan that out. Uh, financial goals. Yeah. Get smart with your money. Use, um, what is it? Dave Ramsey says great, uh, offense, no great defense. Can't, uh, oh, good Lord. I'm going to mess that up. But Dave Ramsey talks about both offense and defense. Offense, how much money you make, but defense, how well you manage it. So uh, I know I can always improve with my fan financial goals. And then some extra notes. So great for either passwords or, you know, if you need to write down numbers, your babysitters or anything. So this is what I was saying. Each month will have a different little uh, biblical verse, and that's really nice. And then, yeah, so show... February, March, and what's nice is each of these month ones are um, more like that first wax, uh, you know, just coated, coated so they're more durable. All right, so we come into January. January notes, and each month is like this, which is really nice. Do your budget, decide on your financial goal for uh, each month, donate or throw away 25 items in your home. I can always improve upon that. Donate clothes, donate toys, find a women's shelter, a children's foster home, and then plan one fun activity. So that's really cute. There's plenty of months I found myself not uh, focusing on <laughs> uh, doing things as a family. So that'll be really nice to have a reminder. You know, go to the zoo, go to the art museum, make a play date. All right. So the month layout, we have the full month of uh, seven days, Sunday through Saturday. I like that. I have seen planners where they start on Monday and end Saturday, Sunday. That doesn't work for my brain, even though I fully acknowledge the overlap of weekends, uh, but plenty of space for notes, to-dos, whatnot, so that's really nice. And then every week layout looks like this, but this is why I needed a more structured um, agenda. I'll open up the other one I had. So this is my 
Coach Agenda case that I've used over the years. It's a gray Saffiano. I love it. It's been so durable, so good for me. Tuck tons of crap in here. And this is my little uh, Ray Dunn planner. It is an 18 month for, oh, that's my information, but um, month. And so what's not working out for me with the Ray Dunn is that the months are all up front, not uh, laid throughout the year. And so that hasn't really worked for me. And then, um, yes, the week layout is here, but there's not really a to-do list section. So I have to uh, create it within the space. And I'm the type of person that, you know, I'll, I'll write over here, I'll write over here. I'm, I'm very uh, disorganized with that. So with the home planner, I really like that it has your weekly, uh, your daily to do's. And this is what it means about the morning and the evening. And so there's something that I'd seen in here. Um, tidy main living space. And I was like, what the heck, you know, I'm not tidying it before I go to work. But as a stay at home or a work from home parent, I can definitely see the benefit of having that both here in the morning, and then also in the afternoon. Um, what was the other one? I think the kitchen counters. You know, I fully admit I work out of the home Monday through Friday and then I travel some weekends as well. So this isn't necessary for me, but wipe, uh, wipe down, yeah, clean kitchen counters, clean kitchen counters. But you know, for someone who does stay at home and has to make three full meals from scratch a day, like, yeah, that's a nice reminder. And I am totally motivated by to-do lists and check marks and whatnot. So I like this and first and foremost, exercise, yeah, clean your butt, um, mom here love me some dry shampoo <laughs> so um but this is really nice coming into the week and i'll do a close-up down here so uh sunday through saturday layout yep makes sense uh, but it's nice on sunday nights and, or sundays you know make your menu plan for the week fill out your meal each day that you're planning to do grocery shop, clean out your purse. Yeah, don't start your week with crap in there. And then it adds the biblical uh, reading of the day. And it's really nice as you go through, it looks like it progresses naturally through. And that's just so nice. Um, yeah, really looking forward to doing that. All right, so some examples of extra things. Dust furniture, fixtures, clean out the fridge. Yeah, empty out your, <laughs> your <laughs> leftovers, I get it. Some of these, you know, I fully admit that as a double working family and uh, both my husband and I commute a lot, travel a lot, I admit we use um, hired help and I'm not ashamed about that. You know, use use your resources wisely and if you can or choose or need to get help in the home, that's fine. Totally, totally fine. But, you know, on weeks when um, maybe we ask our cleaners to skip or... You know, for my for my sisters who stay at home and don't have in-home help, I can definitely see the benefits of this. And it's good for me, too. Clean out your fridge, Vicky. Get rid of your trash. Take out your trash. Clean out your microwave. Yeah, I microwave a ton of soup. It's disgusting. I probably need to clean it more often. So that's nice. And all these do not pertain, you know, to stay-at-home moms. So, yeah, restock the toilet paper. Good to know. On Wednesdays, I need to do that. I find myself too often screaming for my husband for help. Give me some toilet paper, you know? Um, oh, this is cute. So on Thursdays is the change bedroom sheets. And I remember seeing that in the ads. It always said, Thursdays are my favorite days. It's clean sheet day. Well, I can see the benefit of that. Doing it here leaves your weekend free. Um, not too many to do. So that's another good thing is it's spread throughout the week. So that's really nice. Yeah. Let's see. So I really like that. The to do's change throughout. Um... Let's see, some are always there. So make your menu plan, grocery shop. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Dust your furniture, ver vacuum your house. Yeah, but I don't need to clean my car every week. Let's see what else. I don't need to sweep the front porch every week. Yeah, I probably do need to clean my car every other week. My my kid throws Cheerios. You know, uh, clean your baseboards. Let's see what else we got. These are really heavy pages, I like it. Clean your doorknobs and night light switches. Okay. Yeah. Clean your car every other week. Sweep garage. I'll make my husband do that one. <laughs> Clean your car again every two weeks. So that's cool. Um, but I mean, there's plenty of good examples throughout. So, all right, let me do, let me finish showing up. So January to do's every month has that. 
the month layout, weekly, and then at the end of each month, before you go to the next tab, is your budget. And this is great. It talks about uh, what your target is, what your actual is, and then the difference, net gain, net loss. And so this would be much easier if you're adding up how much you spent each day. So yeah, I really like this. Come into your next month, February, and it all starts again. February notes, donate or throw away 25 items. The weeks. I don't think there's anything extra for any of the particular months but yeah it's nice to have the notes page so um yeah it's really nice and then at the very end there is another uh, heavy page for notes so that would be nice as well for uh, passwords or babysitter contact info or anything so quick comparison then i already showed you my Ray Dunn planner that, yeah, it just, I mean, yeah, like that's a January, February, got an HOA meeting, but there's no to-do list within the weeks. There's no reminder on, you know, when to do what. And there are days that I'm just surviving when my husband commutes. I fully admit that. Uh, there were some blank pages in the back of this. I have that filled with personal information that I'm not going to show. I already showed you. This is an Erin Condren notepad, actually. I got rid of the agenda that I had, but it was the same exact same exact size. And yeah, as I said, that was just a little too arts and craftsy. It was a lot of washi tape stickers and whatnot. And I still use stickers, but it's like a dog footprint for the dog grooming or, you know, a little cash dollar sign for payday or whatnot. But I'm, I don't, I've tried I don't take the time to color coordinate pens and markers and whatnot. This is what I started 2019 with. This is just a random one from Target. Um, I'll go to a week that I, month that I didn't use. So it's just too small. That was too small for me to write more than two things a day. Did not work for me. And then the paper source. Love these. Yeah, we went to Chicago. Um, so yeah, here's an example. Like I'll use stickers for my dog's medicine and whatnot. This was just smaller, really compact. I write rather large. So this page didn't really work for me. Uh, yeah. Paper source was really nice. Because that was really nice. It had a little password thing in the back and a little tuck in, but, um, it just overall didn't meet all my needs. So if you have any questions on, oh, let me show you the back. So I showed you the December, another notes page. Yeah. All right. If you have any questions at all on the Passionate Penny Pinchers 2020 Home Planner, please let me know. Leave a question below. Message me. Um, and then you can find these on her website and or I found mine through a Facebook ad. And I think I'll really like it. All right. Thanks. Bye.